Hi everyone, welcome back to the Sea Morning Show. It is 20 past 7 in the a.m. and it's time for our first morning discussion where we will explore more on how AI learning empowers various organizations. Now, AI, I'm sure you're all familiar, is no longer just a buzzword in a rapidly changing business landscape. In fact, it has become mm -hmm. quite a game changer from enhancing decision-making to streamlining operations, AI learning is enabling organizations of all sizes to harness data like never before. Exactly, Paul. Well said. And as organizations increasingly adopt AI technologies, significant challenges and also ethical considerations start to surface. So how can we navigate these complexities and ensure that AI can indeed uplift workers as well as fostering inclusivity? So today we welcome Inspigo CEO and co-founder Theo Guritno to discuss more about it. Good morning, Mas Good morning, Theo. Theo. Thank you for joining us. Thank you for Thank joining you for us. Me. So um, maybe just to kick off our talk show this morning, can you maybe tell us a little bit how does AI learning differ from machine learning from those who are not completely aware of the difference? Such as okay. <laughs> and me. <laughs> so in our everyday life now, uh, a lot of people are using AI, yeah. like something like ChatGPT. Yes, that correct. Is, uh, Very helpful. Super easy to use. Mm -hmm. uh, now, uh, people are getting help in, in you know writing emails and all that yeah. stuff. So uh, more and more AI is entering you know our daily uh, activities, yeah. and people are getting help. So the more we use AI, the more productive we will be. Mm -hmm. So a lot of companies now are looking for talents that are uh, able to optimize AI so mm. that they can you know, be more productive, they can create more outputs than yeah. before. Uh, so the expectation now in the workforce, uh, you know, in Indonesia or even overseas, uh, people are looking for this talent that can uh, utilize AI utilize, and, yeah. and, and optimize it. Work smart, not hard, right? Exactly. And then you know, the expectation is higher. If, yeah. uh, typically in a week you can do one job, you are expected to do that one job in two hours. Right. So uh, now you can have Ten job, or you can produce yeah, ten jobs. Yeah, it makes you in... more um, productive. Yes, in exactly. Sense. So AI learning is basically—is it the advancement of AI itself and how well yeah. it learns? Over so the technology, the generative AI, is a technology where it's uh, facing the customer right now. AI uh, used to be AI has been around for a long time, sure. and it yeah. used to be in the background only. Correct. Mm. They're doing recommendations for you if you go to like marketplace and all that, and if you uh, buy something and then it'll recommend you similar things, Correct. that's AI, yeah. right? But now you can actually interact with AI. Yes. Mm. So, so the Gen AI now is uh, used not just for, you know, searching or making emails or whatnot, but yeah. you can actually practice or learn, uh, upskill yourself using AI. Nice. So you can, for example, you are, uh, you want to do an interview, right? Mm. Uh, typically, there, back in the day, there's what we call mock-up interview. Yes. You know, yeah. you have someone to kind of be your counterpart. Just simulate yeah. the... Uh, to simulate the... Yeah. yeah, right? So now you can use AI. So you don't need to wait for that person right. to come. Right, right. Okay. And the AI can be set as an expert, as a right. hiring manager, as a CEO that interviews you. Uh, uh, that's, that's how we use AI for upskilling, for practicing. Okay. So that you can gain more uh, skill. You can not just acquire the knowledge, but you can practice the knowledge. I, I used AI for the first time actually this week. So I had to rec I have to do like this, a, vo a voiceover sample. No, I've, I've played with it before, uh -huh. but an actual application, I had to do a voiceover sample and they said, just get, just send us a sample of, of something, of an, uh, an animated, something yeah. animated, like an animated show. And I'm like, well, what am I gonna do it? So my friend suggested, <laughs> well, just at, tell uh, ChatGPT, for example, yeah. tell them what you want, and then they'll come up with a script for you. And it, it actually it did. totally did. So this is yeah. our perspective as yeah. a user. Yeah. Yeah. But how can organizations yeah. now use this uh, AI learning as That's, well to help yeah. empower their organization? Yeah, for example, for, for salespeople, right? Okay. Yeah. Uh, sales, they're you know, the frontliners, they go to customers. Uh, they often need help to solve problems. Uh, sometimes they need to do role play before they meet the potential customers. Okay. Like, how can I practice before I oh. meet Pop Paul, right? Uh. So I can tell the AI, okay, I'm going to meet Pop Paul. I am going to describe, you know, yeah. like your profile, right. your background, yeah. your hobbies, if I know your oh, hobbies. Wow. And then I can ask, okay, uh, which product is the, the best or more uh, suitable for Pop Paul? Oh, and why? Explain so to me why. So you can actually be more prepared yeah. and you can solve problems. In, in the sales uh, case, okay. you can actually sell more. 
So it's slow more. So it's all, not only is it helpful for on-the-job training, but it mm. actually can tailor kind of your so, training towards. Yeah, in learning, uh, learning, in learning world, there's this uh, philosophy called 10, 20, and 70. What's that? 10 percent is basically you acquire knowledge. Okay. Yeah. You, know, you do training, you do on-demand learning. You basically you acquire knowledge. Uh, after you acquire knowledge, you talk to your uh, mentor or coach, right? That's 20 percent. Okay. So you simulate all these. Uh, <laughs> Um, basically cases and all that. So uh, in our case, 10% uh, is on-demand content. So we have on-demand content on Inspigo. 20% uh, is you simulate the cases with AI. Okay. So you are given these cases and yeah. then you are uh, talking to an AI as a simulations and then you're going to be reviewed by the AI on how you do. Right. And oh, then wow. there's a score, right? And then 70%, basically you implement the knowledge or implement the skill in real life. Okay. Uh, that's where you know, you basically convert the knowledge into, you know, real work. Real work. And then you, you sometimes hit a block, you hit a, you hit a wall, right? So, yeah. uh, and then if you don't know the answer, you ask the AI. So you, we train the AI with internal knowledge of that mm. company. For example, we work for it with a bank. We train that knowledge with the bank uh, knowledge. So then the, if you have a questions about products, about SOPs, about mm. anything, you can ask the AI right away. We do that now. You ask the manager, we, you ask the admin, you ask your... Uh, peers and whatnot, yeah. Yeah. but sometimes it takes time, right? Sure. Yeah. And, you, and then, you might not know who exactly to direct what. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. And then sometimes the answers are not as helpful. Sure. <laughs> so, sure. So right. AI can give you like faster and more accurate answers. Uh, so wow. you can actually be more productive. So that 10, 20, 70 percent learning is not just for uh, acquiring knowledge, but learning is to improve performance now with AI. Right. So it helps both the employer and the employees as well. Yes. Exactly. So, and, and, and what are, when you, when you say you get feedback from mm. the AI, could you give us an example of sure. like, what, what sort of feedback you could get? Okay. Uh, let me do a, a quick demo. Yeah? Okay, yeah, uh, that would be cool. <laughs> so this is, uh, hopefully the screen is uh, broadcasted now. So this is an example of you, you as a, a fresh grad uh, trying to apply for a, uh, MT program, management okay. training program. Yep. So okay. you are talking to a recruiter. Mm. Uh, in this case, uh, we'll, we'll see. Uh, the recruiter's name is Mrs. Maria. Okay. Uh, uh, and then we're going to talk. Here, we're, we're actually look, showing you as well. To our oh, okay, recruiter. Yeah, cool. this is exactly what we're doing. <laughs> okay, cool. Okay, so... Uh, so I'm, I'm saying thank you for the opportunity for this interview. And then uh, she replies, great to hear from you. Okay. Uh, let's start uh, a brief introduction about yourself. Okay. I'm just uh, um, going to create a demo here. Hi, my name is Andy. I graduated from, uh, oh, let me see. Wow. My, by the way, you can really dictate say. this. It's a lot easier yeah. than typing. I was just going to say. <laughs> It saves a lot of time, and also I think just um, a couple years ago, it was not something that's talked about openly. I think I remember a lot yeah. of people were shy to say they've used yeah. AI, but now I mean to see all the benefits that yeah. it brings. I can uh, tell my background. So I, I've done projects uh, at. So you uh, just have to t basically describe. Yeah. Your uh, background. Uh, doing. Uh, let's say uh, innovation day program. That's what you can share. Or, or <laughs> okay. This is so cool. So oh, I wish I had this when I was in school. I was. I used to be so nervous for job interviews. I totally <laughs> yeah. wouldn't be if I had this. Uh, right. Well. Yeah. Such a good preparation. So this is just a demo. Like we'll do a, a okay. quick review of how how I did it. Um, Wow. So the AI is now evaluating like okay. what I'm uh, saying okay. uh, and my performance. Basically, uh, basically he, there, it's evaluating your responses to the questions. Exactly. Correct? Okay. And then it'll give me uh, detailed feedback on how I can improve. Okay. Uh, okay. So next time I, I do this again, it'll, it'll, you know, I'll be better and and I'm, I'll be ready to meet the real recruiter. Uh, right. Uh, when when the time comes, right. Less nervous, yeah. more prepared. So, okay. Uh, there we so go. My, my wow. oh, gives you the score. Uh, yeah, because I, I just uh, I did a quick. Uh, yeah, we didn't finish. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Very brief. So the feedback is you need to provide more context about 
field of study specific interests to give clear introduction, adding few personal attributes, soft skills. Like for example, I'm interested in leadership, I'm interested in communication, yeah. I'm interested in project mm. management, so I should say that more. Okay. So this is an example of how I uh, should do it. My name is Andy. I recently graduated from University of Indonesia with a degree of communications. I'm passionate in, about innovative marketing strategies and have honed my skills in public speaking and teamwork during oh my, my life. So That's you're amazing. you're you're getting reviewed right away. Okay. Uh, so when you now do mock-up interviews, yeah. you know it takes time. You know you don't have you need to WhatsApp the person and then wait for the availability of that person. Yeah. yeah. And now you can do it anytime. And you, the thing is that you can configure all these profiles. So you want to have like this super, you know, powerful person that interviews you. You can yeah. configure that, right. or or you know, a marketing you can expert. Describe that. So yeah. you can actually practice with multiple different personas. Wow. Okay. So, what you know, this is obviously something that I mean, you and I, it's, we're taken back by how how uh, how this can Very really much. help uh, yeah. uh, in the work field. Mm -hmm. um, what trends do you foresee in AI learning that could really kind of change the landscape when yeah. it comes to like organizations, the future of organizations. Uh, future of organizations. So I, I was invited by a, a tech company, a big tech company to Silicon Valley last September okay. for a program. Mm -hmm. And um, so there, the, the companies that got invited are AI companies, basic thing. Uh, four from Indonesia, mm -hmm. uh, there are 80 companies, 60 from India. Uh, okay. So there are <laughs> no <laughs> surprise, yeah. so many. Uh, but the, the main thing, one thing that um, uh, caught my attention well, when they opened up the session was that we're all building AI solutions to replace jobs. Mm. Okay. Uh, so the more jobs you can replace, the more value we can actually bring into our clients. So on the other side, all these AI developers are thinking about replacing jobs, not people. Right. Jobs. Jobs. Right? jobs so yeah. we can actually be more productive as a person. We can have uh, AIs that help our jobs so we can be more strategic in a way. Mm. Okay. So that's basically the future. And now uh, there's a trend of uh, having AI agents. AI agent is like a, basically employees of, like our employees. So I can have five agents. One is for uh, helping me practice for interviews. Okay. One is for productivity. Uh, and uh, maybe in the future it can do more task automation. So uh, do a research every morning about, you know, this, uh, uh, data, specific data and whatnot, and then send me uh, an update every day. So you can actually ask more more things uh, that you want to get every day. And then you can have multiple of those. Okay. So the ability to... Almost like having a lot of very efficient yeah, assistants. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. The ability to manage and optimize those assistants yeah. is, is going to be things. the next uh, future. Yeah, because the concern, I mean, for like layman's like you and me, we're always thinking, well, there's too much AI, everyone's going to lose their job. jobs. Like, yeah. what's going to happen? But instead, it's actually the opposite. You're just making uh, those jobs better. Better, more exactly. utilizing it. And so you need to be able to utilize, uh, yeah. understand, utilize, and optimize how you use AI. Okay. I mean, I feel like now, seeing where AI is, I can't seem to imagine what else it can and can do. I feel like it's already done everything, right? <laughs> but I mean, in your opinion, What's, what's the next step for AI? What else can it do to even optimize the resources that it's already have and really utilize more the technology that it brings? Yeah, I mean, we as a person, first of all, we need to be more open-minded, right, with mm. all these technology. Yeah. We are resistant or, well, towards, uh, towards this new technology. It's, it's hard for us to keep learning or keep, keep yeah. seeing opportunities uh, that AI can actually be more involved in all but uh, for us, we need to just kind of go through what we do every day. Uh, now there is a thing called uh, AI first mindset, where mm. you, when you want to do things, mm. you think about can AI do this better, or can okay. can AI help us to to get you know a better result, more quality right. results. Uh, so whenever you want to do things, there are, there is AI solution for that. Yeah. So that's going to be like the the next thing uh, that I think going to be. A trend in the in the market, especially in the, market. In the workforce. Yeah, and uh, are there improvements still to be made? Because, yes. yeah, be, uh, if someone like you would be able to see this, like you and I. <laughs> yeah, no. we'll we already think it's what perfect. What sort of improvements do you see that still need yeah. to be made? Like, what sort of steps looking in the short term? Yeah, I mean, um, I guess we need to make sure that that the data that we put in for the AI to learn is all accurate. Accurate, correct. Uh, because we don't want uh, biases and all that. Sure. Uh, yeah. Uh, AI is just a tool. Yes. So we, we don't rely on AI uh, so much. We, we need to see that as a tool for us to be better. 
Yeah. Right. Yeah. So we need to make sure the 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 thing that we feed to the AI mm. is actually uh, the thing that can make us better. So right. if it's not accurate, then so that is the the foundation that, itself uh, exactly. has to be a good foundation. Because if we just rely on the technology but not thinking about like how we train the technology, then uh, it can actually mislead us. Okay. So that's uh, the the feature that we don't want. Right. That we, makes sense. Mm. So. If you want to use AI, it doesn't mean that you're, uh, you can just be an average person. You need to be an expert on something. So if you are an expert on marketing and then use AI, you can be you know, far more, uh, yeah, exactly. More. You can actually fly high, right? So if you're just a so-so person that only knows a little bit of marketing, then, then the result is not going to be as optimized. Mm. So you still need to be an expert mm. on what you do. Yeah. So a lot of like filmmakers and all that, they are afraid of getting replaced, right? But if you're a really good filmmaker, you can think of uh, all these things uh, and then you have all this creativity. Uh, I think uh, now maybe you can only have one, two people to create a blockbuster movie, right? right? right. So you just need to be a, a real expert on that. I'm glad you brought this up because I'm, I always like to ask this one question and it's a controversial one because you are more the expert on AI. Uh, we have friends and colleagues in different industries, mm. the creative industry. And yes, there is that argument. But silently, a couple of them have said to me that, you know, I actually use AI not to help me do my job, not, not to do my job for me rather, yeah. but instead to simulate. For example, uh, a filmmaker could run it through AI and see if they're making, let's say, a time travel movie. Mm. Do you see any holes in what I've written so far? Yeah. And can you find the mistakes that I've made? Yeah. That would be an application. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, do you think we'll be able to continue to walk this fine line where it doesn't infringe on what we call creativity that should be coming out of a human, human as opposed to the AI doing that job or somebody saying, hey, write me a script for a great science fiction movie yeah. as opposed to those who just have the moral obligation to, I'm going to do this myself and just strictly use AI as a tool. You can see the results. I mean, now that I've been in this field for a while, you can see the results of like, hi, hey, make me a uh, science, science uh, fiction movie, yes. a script, right? You can see the result that this is just, this is AI. And yeah. this is like, yeah. that's true. Well crafted, you know. There's Creative, a lot of craftsmanship yeah. in it. You that's can true. you can tell, and that's, true. that's that's what I was saying about expertise. Like you need to be an expert. Like now you can create images easily with AI, right? 3D images. But if you're a, a 3D expert, you know how the shade needs to be done and that's all right. that. True. So you need you you know all these details that regular people don't know. Okay. So you can create masterpieces mm. even bigger and quicker. Uh, but you need to still know. Of the fundamentals. Right, exactly. Of, yeah. yeah, and then be a real expert in that. Yeah, I, I feel like I'll be able to tell if a song is being played by you as a DJ or an AI. Yeah, yeah, so. and sometimes we look for those little imperfections that yeah, humans that you make just in, know. in art that you know, okay, yeah. well, this is actually human actually, made. Actually, yeah. yeah. That's true, that's so actually comes a good from point. That. But as, as, as the process go, uh, goes along, you need to learn as well, right? You need to keep improving yourself to be a master, and, and you can use AI. Uh, to, to do help that, you that. To, in the process of learning. Okay. All right, wow. there you go. Wow. In Spigo, this is something that uh, yeah. I'm definitely going to check out. <laughs> I know, I'm like... There are no other situations, right, right? I mean, uh, real quick, before, um, uh, before we let you go here, what other uh, quick day-to-day -day applications can we use other than something yeah. like... Like someone uh, I would introduce to my mom who's not yeah. uh, Connect. aware. Connect. Yeah. Like, who probably doesn't know how AI works. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think something like ChatGPT would be a, a good one because it, good start, it, it, yeah. it helps, uh, you know. It's a uh, good gateway, right? Gateway. Yeah. It's easy. You can ask anything. It gives you uh, exactly uh, what you're looking for, mm. okay. and depending on how you ask. But uh, a friend of mine just took a picture of uh, his food and then asked about, oh, this is guduk. Uh, Guduk has this many calories and all that stuff. Oh. So it's an easy kind of like uh, interface for, for people to yeah. to interact with. So okay. I, I would uh, suggest that to, yeah. to try okay. yeah, to start. Yeah, no, I think that's how I got comfortable yeah. with it. Yeah, yeah, that's when I started doing like simple things that were at first meaningless and then I realized, like, okay, this oh, is what it does. And very yeah, cool. It got me more comfortable and that, yeah. I think that's important for us to be comfortable nice with it. Because like you said, it should be used as a tool and, uh, and once we, can, we know how to use a tool properly, just like any tool, yeah. it can make yeah. us a great craft. Yeah. Much thank you so much for coming by. So much. We really yeah. do appreciate this thank conversation. You. All right, uh, there you go, guys. Uh, a little more. Learn something new. I have, and uh, it's gonna be my new best friend now. <laughs> for your next job interview. <laughs> yeah. Hopefully, that's not coming soon. <laughs>
<laughs> anyway, well, we're going to take another short break here on the program, but we have more interesting stories for you from around the world when we return here on the Sea Morning Show. Stay tuned.